To me, anecdotally, the sign of people's interest in this topic is that every time that you look at YouTube, one of the top 10 trending topics is second stimulus checks. And are they coming? What would you say the odds are right now? So I think they're important to have it happen. I think we've seen since this summer, the odds against more relief, there is a heightened partisan environment in Washington, but the American people need more help. And it has become obvious in recent weeks with the case counts mounting, the improvements and people getting back to work are slowing. People need money. They need some support. And Congress knows how to do it. They, they got to get it done. How much would it cost, Claudia? What, what kind of uh, sort of big picture number are we talking about? Because when they're going down and saying, OK, the pot of money is going to be 600 or 700 or 1.1, whatever the number is, trillion dollars, um, how much would your version of these direct checks cost? The first round of the checks that went out earlier this year cost $300 billion. If they were more targeted, it could be a little bit less than that. Frankly, I think targeting is hard right now because millions of Americans have lost income this year. And the IRS does not have it up to date. But whatever we can do to get the money out is worthwhile. It is one part of relief discussions that has a lot of nonpartisan support. It is not that hard. You ask Americans, do you want another 1200 bucks, 500 bucks for a kid? They're going to say yes, and we're going to empower them to use that money for what they need most right now. That is the biggest bang for the buck right. we well, could imagine. Yeah, the popularity, I think, is no surprise. Um, what is interesting is the trade-offs. So if we say, okay, there's funds from the PPP program that are left over, can be repurposed, or you know, if it comes down to should we do these checks instead of another round of PPP or instead of uh, the Restaurant Act or instead of hotel industry aid, I mean, why should these take priority when, as you've mentioned, there are targeting questions and it's really hard to know who actually needs them the most and make sure that those people get the most help? Right. I mean, this is hard. The trade-offs are real. I think you got to go to stuff that's up at the top of the list, priorities, things we know how to do, things we know work well. The way the system is set up, if Congress passed them and we said more direct payments, they would be in people's bank accounts within a week. Like we could really use a shot in the arm right now. It is true. I would like to see a relief package with trillions, S at the end, and yet that that doesn't look likely right now and we can't let the the perfect be the enemy of the good, I do think there's a case for getting money to families, getting money to small businesses, especially those in leisure, hospitality, places we know are hard hit. And we have got to get these long-term unemployed through this winter. This is a hard time and it is unconscionable to cut off money to the hardest hit. But frankly, a lot yeah. of Americans are being hit hard. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.